My son was killed on June 23rd, 2016 by Joseph Mensa. Jay Jr. was the second young man Joseph Mensa killed, sleeping in a car at Madison Park, not bothering anyone. He just had too much to drink, celebrating his birthday. Jay Jr. pulled over to sleep it off. Joseph Mensa pulled in the park at 2.58 a.m. Jay Jr. was assassinated at 3.07 a.m. From the video that I could stand to watch, my son was obeying everything that Joseph asked of him. No telling how long he had his hands in the air. The third time of losing his balance, he was assassinated by Joseph Mensa. Overkill. The only reason we got a video is because when he called the station, the video from the car automatically went back 28 seconds. Never once did my son have his hands on a gun. Chief of Wabatosa, Chief Weber, won't release the records. They are saying that it will at least take four months. They are all working together to protect the blue, even a killer on their payroll. What are they hiding or covering up? We are asking for Chief Weber to be fired and Joseph Mensa to be convicted. Yeah. This is why we have people out here protesting every day, fighting for our rights. There's three families grieving for their sons. We are families that are struggling to raise money. We don't have a GoFundMe page with close to $80,000 like Joseph Mensa. I miss my son so much. Do you think that he would risk everything to kill somebody and leave his daughter and family behind. We need a change. The activists and the people that are protesting every night, I just want to say thank you so much. We love you. You're welcome. One more thing. Please, please get out and vote. All lives don't matter until... Thank you.